All right, let's talk about software design. That's topic two of software engineering body of knowledge. Software design can be either seen as a process of defining architecture components, interfaces, and other stuff like this in a software system, or as a result of applying this process. Uh, it's also separated into several uh, sub areas. The first one is fundamentals. So the general concept of software design is it's basically it's, it's a problem solving uh, something. Uh, it's uh, the first step from the problem to, uh, to its solution. Uh, the context is how it fits in the, the entire uh, thing. Uh, the, by the process, they mean uh, that it's either the high-level uh, software design when you design an architecture of the entire thing, or it's a low-level design when you design a component. And software design principles, these are, these are things like uh, abstraction, encapsulation, separation of concerns, uh, coupling and cohesion, and stuff like this. Uh, key issues in software design, of course, there are many issues, but these are the ones that are uh, kind of omnipresent. Uh, concurrency, so dealing with parallel, distribute, and whatever uh, computation. Event handling, building reactive apps. Data persistence, so dealing with long-lived data. Uh, distribution of components, so distribution of kind of software across hardware. Um, error handling, fault tolerance, you know, all, all these uh, uh, things, uh, presentation, security, they are pretty, uh, pretty popular in, well, just about any uh, kind of software engineering. Structure and architecture. So uh, viewpoints that you can you can view your system from a logical point of view, where you think of functionality and how different uh, features fit together. You can look at it at, from a developer uh, point of view. So it's a, it's a different view of how do you build a system, or from a process uh, point of view of how do you. Uh, um, how do you go from one uh, task to another, or a physical point of view, and, and so forth. Architectural styles, it's, uh, I don't know, do you, do you want a system to be adaptable to circumstances? Do you want it to be distributed? Do you want to have, like, pipes and filters, or, uh, you know, anything? Uh, design patterns, there is an entire book on this, and uh, many additions to, uh, to, to them. Um, then architecture design decisions, uh, pretty straightforward, and families and programs, that's basically facilitating some reuse in architecture. Uh, user interface design, so the basic principles, again, they are, uh, I don't know, familiarity with uh, interface, learnability, consistency, recoverability, uh, things like this. Uh, the issues are basically either how how users can interact with our system and how the information can be presented to the users. These are, these are always the main issues. Um, the design of user interaction modalities, it's uh, like, do you do you do question answer thing or do you do you put an entire form for, for user to fill in? Or do you do you do menus and then the user should find uh, their own stuff? Or do you do you do like natural language interface like uh, I don't know Jarvis in, in Iron Man movies? And then the design of information presentation that's uh, that's really like design kind of thing with visualization and with uh, uh, colors and stuff like this. Uh, the process is uh, the classic uh, thing with, you know, first we do user analysis, we look on uh, what, what kind of users do we have and what they want, then we do some prototyping and then we do some evaluation by, uh, you know, exposing the users to, uh, to the prototype. Localization, internationalization, so supporting different, you know, like Unicode and different uh, languages, and uh, metaphors, uh, that's also kind of really designery thing with, uh, I don't know, when, when you throw something away, it can be represented as a trash can icon, uh, and when you save something, it's a, it's a picture of a floppy. Uh, quality analysis, so quality attributes, these are the kind of uh, uh, things like maintainability, testability, adaptability, uh, uh, and stuff like this. 
uh, there are many techniques to analyze them. Uh, I mean, all these elites, they're pretty abstract, but they, they can be turned into something concrete with measures. And measures, they kind of, let's, let's look at uh, uh, components and see how big they are, how complex they are, how many... Uh, stuff they they have in there how uh, I don't know how how classes uh, uh, talk to to one another and so forth uh, notations okay so there are basically two different kind of structure uh, the kind of descriptions one uh, uh, family is uh, based on static view it's something like uh, entity relationship diagrams or ar architecture description languages. These are called structural descriptions. And behavioral descriptions, they are about dynamic views. So these are more about uh, data flow diagrams or flow charts or sequence diagrams, stuff like this. And of course, there are tons of tools to, to support this. Uh, strategies, uh, general strategies, these are things that apply not only in software design, but in all kinds of designs something like stepwise refinement or divide and conquer or you know top down bottom up these kind of things um, structure design that's when you when you take a problem and you decompose it and you refine it until you get from uh, your problem definition to uh, uh, something more detailed something that's ready to uh, uh, be taken to the next uh, level uh, Object-oriented design, that's a classic uh, Grady Butch kind of uh, thing when you say, okay, if I have a noun, then it's going to be an object. If I have a verb, it's going to be a method and every adjective is an attribute. Uh, and then, of course, you can you can stru uh, center your design around a, da a particular data structure, like a table in databases or uh, like a tree somewhere. And you can also define components and there are, there are many strategies of this. Okay, that's it about software design.